Hello, lovely human. Welcome to Little Flower Tarot, your floral oracle. My name is Krista, and today I am doing a channeled interpretation of the Page of Cups card. I pulled these cards at random, so I like to think of these interpretations as also mini readings, if you will. If you want to just take it as an interpretation, go right ahead. But if some of the messages that I'm channeling are hitting and exactly what you need to hear, then take them as a reading as well. So from what I'm aware of, the traditional meaning of the Page of Cups represents youth, it represents a playful energy, a light energy. I know that the Page of Cups speaks to me quite often, and I'm not sure why. It's one of the most prominent cards um, that like pops out at me. And I think it's, it's like, for instance, like with the Rider Waite version, there is a guy holding a cup and there's a fish popping out. And that fish popping out of the, the cup like is like the surprise, but like funny, but playful energy. And I feel like when I'm in nature, I get that a lot. I feel like nature speaks to me in this light, funny, playful, surprising kind of way. So that's kind of the energy of the Page of Cups, in my opinion, how it comes through. Um, just a lightness, a playfulness, a, a jovial energy. Um, yeah, and a youthfulness. And I love it. It's so fun. Um, and like that's it. There's no heaviness to it. There's no seriousness about it. It's it's light and for the sake of being light and I love it. Um, so a lot of times it seems uh, people will, like with the court cards, um, they might be related to certain people in your life, like within the reading, like a certain person, um, especially with pages, they could be related to more like children, um, especially the page of cups. So yeah, it could be a child in your life. It could be um, someone who is offering a, it could be a romantic gesture. It could just be someone who kind of feels um, inexperienced uh, or like inexperienced in comparison to you or something like that you know like it could be an offer of romance in a way um but yeah so just that lightheartedness so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to interpret the page of cups in three different tarot decks so the first one i'm interpreting is going to be the radiant wild tarot super beautiful tarot deck i got it on amazon you can get it on amazon um, it's very celestial, very deserty, but also very like rooted and grounded because the colors within the deck are very like root chakra, sacral, solar plexus, pinks, oranges, yellows, reds, blacks. So, um, yeah, definitely page of cups energy. We just had some young kid on a jet ski just like standing like flying through like that's yeah page of cups and I wouldn't be surprised if we hear some fish jumping out of the water as well page of cups in the radiant wilds deck um, we've got a woman in a bathing suit and it's kind of almost like she's sitting on the side of a pool or something like, it's like she's got her feet in water or something like that and um, we've got a beautiful rainbow on the horizon with little cups like holding the rainbow on either end um, some beautiful solar energy coming through, very sun, there are a couple crescent moons, but very, very sunlight, or it could be even like dusk, you know, like this feeling of, um, the sun setting and like the crescent moon at the same time being out, something like that. Um, but yeah, so it is a very just light energy. Let's see, let me channel the message through this particular card. Hmm. <sighs> joy it's bringing a sense of joy it's i don't know why it's giving me this permit like a permission to have fun um i kind of see this woman sitting on this precipice of like am i going to jump in or am i going to move forward am i going to go into this playful light energy and like with the middle sun here that's more like orange like a darker color and has green and stuff in it feels more solid um still light but but solid so in like the rainbow like walking through the rainbow um, it's almost like a message like, it's safe here. It is safe to be jovial and in your lighthearted spirit. It is safe to have fun and not just put all your worries and your burdens and your responsibilities on the back burner and just to be light and be childlike again. Like that is the energy. Like it's beckoning you forward to have fun and to enjoy your life and be free, be light, be childlike. 
So that's the interpretation of the Radiant Wilds. Next I'm gonna interpret the traditional Rider Waite. We've got this dude with this get up on with flowers. Um, he's very, I don't know, like the way he's standing is like, I'm serious about my play. <laughs> I take it very seriously. It's very important. So it's giving me like the vibe of like, oh, same with the other one in a way. It's like, this is a very important message for you. This fun, playful fish popping out of this water that makes no sense. <laughs> um, or popping out of this cup that makes no sense. He's like, trust me, you need to work on this element of your life. Like, you need to make sure that you carve out time for play. I'm serious. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's that's actually quite sweet. Um, yeah, the message with this card is... In order for you to live a well-rounded life, it is very important. There's like a weight to it. There is, and I was saying it's not weighty, but there can be a message of weight when it when your life is out of balance and when you are too serious about your life or you're overworking yourself or um, you only allow yourself to play like what like oh no once I get to this place or once I get to this uh, threshold or this. Uh, benchmark then I can be light and free and play um, but this is just a message of like sometimes you really need to make sure that you have moments of play every day in your life and just allow that kind of energy to like surface within you um, allow the absurdity of life to kind of like take the pressure off of you because like life is a paradox and life can not make sense sometimes and sometimes you just have to like throw everything up and be like you know what it is not that serious like everything is going to be okay. I can laugh at this and I can move on. So that's kind of the message I'm getting from that. Um, lastly, we have the inspiration of cups. They call the page in the, um, the Tarot of Oneness, they call the page the inspiration of cups. And what we have here is, it feels very romantic almost um, because we have, it feels like, um, what do they call it? Puppy love. So like the beginning of a relationship um, with the heart carved in the sand and all the little hearts, little orbs of hearts and starfish and the, the beautiful seashell there. Like um, it is giving me this feeling of new love. So I guess you could definitely interpret the Page of Cups as new love. So also with this card, with the seashell, being there. It almost feels like the orbs and the hearts are coming out of the seashell. And the seashell, it, it kind of does remind me of childhood in a way because it's like when we were little, you know, you'd, you'd grab a shell and be like, oh, you can hear the ocean in the shell. Um, and I love that there's this message of love and lightheartedness coming from the shell. It's kind of giving me this message about the beauty of life and how sometimes it just sneaks up on you and to be open to the beauty in your life as it is because there might just be something that surprises you. If you're stuck in like that five of cups, which the card I did an interpretation for was the five of cups right before this and I will have already posted it if you want to check that out. But if you're stuck in like that sheen of not seeing the beauty in your life, um, this is kind of a message of be open because there might be something for you in your regular everyday routine, in the places you normally go that you're not seeing, some sort of beauty that you're not seeing, some sort of message, some sort of play, fun, lighthearted thing um, that wants to surprise you and bring more joy into your life in those mundane kind of things that you do all the time yeah like it's just a sense of bringing joy um, and lightness into the mundanity of your life so that's how I would interpret the tarot of oneness um, card there's also the ocean here and the waves like kissing the earth but they're not like too powerful of waves it's like light waves 
Um, yeah, it's just a fun, lighthearted, playful, leisurely vibe. Super cool. Okay, is there anything else I want to say about the Page of Cups? I just think that element of surprise. Like, there's a message here of please don't give up hope in life surprising you and life being turning out better than you would expect. Um, please don't discard the everyday moments that to you seem so mundane or so um, like you take for granted. Like it's like this feeling of open your heart up to a new way of viewing all of the things that you've kind of cast a gray sheen on before that are just there. Um, yeah, it's just this feeling of open yourself up to, the, to a lightness because life's going to surprise you soon. So I think that's what I have for the Page of Cups. If you have your own interpretation of the Page of Cups, it'd be cool if you commented it down below. If you have kind of anything that's hit you even during this reading or just your own like take on it, it'd be really cool if eventually the comment section under my uh, card translations um, had that kind of thing. Because one message that I really want to convey with these interpretations is that you don't have to be like so knowledgeable about the history and the traditional meaning and like you don't have to have so much context for each individual tarot cards you can channel them in your own way like as long as you're in touch with your own intuition and your own heart and your own soul you can channel tarot um, even just through the, the imagery um, or even just through the energy like even if you just held the card and listened with your third eye and in your mind um, and your heart and your soul you can channel a message. <laughs> so um, that's kind of the vibe. And I, I want to also be more intimate with the cards and learn more context to the cards. So um, when I do these channeled interpretations, I'm learning too, and I'm growing more connected to the cards as well, as I'm hoping it does the same for you. So yeah, that's my intention with these uh, interpretations. But otherwise, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your presence. If you want to support me, you can like, comment, or subscribe. Um, you can also check out my Infinite Prayer Reiki sessions. They are energy healing sessions that I extend off of my Pick a Flower Tarot reading. Even if you haven't watched the reading, you can do the energy healing session. I also have a couple of Reiki sessions on my YouTube channel for free as well if you want to check those out. Also, I have some really cute merchandise. It is my B logo with flowers all around it that I had made by a Ukrainian artist that I put down below in the, in the um, description if you want to check her out. Um, but also, my merchandise has the phrase, hello, lovely human. Uh, so it's really cute if I do say so myself. And if you want to check that out, there's a link down below for that. All right, so I think that's it. Thank you so much. Bye.